Yeah. Each one of you. <laughs> I have to say thanks to my daughter because every time she called me with some information, negative or positive, she said, Mama, how do you feel? What do you want to do? I said, that's not what God told me. She said, well, Mama, if you want to fight, I'll fight for you. This has been the ongoing thing all along. <laughs> when she got the information, she never hesitated to tell me. But I did not inform my husband at each passage of what was going on. When they refused us to, uh, in October after that, I could not tell him because I was afraid for him. But when she received a call Thursday that we were to be evicted on Monday, I had to come to the realization that I had to inform him that we were to be put out on Monday if we did not move. I still didn't see myself moving. So I talked with him and he said, baby, I don't want to lose my home. I said, do you understand if we stay, it will be a fight. You may be dragged out. He said, I just can't see myself losing my home. I said, well, I'm willing to fight. All right. All right. All right. You promise me that you'll stay strong and not have another stroke on me. I prayed with him. I prayed for him. And I prayed over him. I called my daughter back. She said, Mama, I won't do nothing. I'll get you a place to stay and get you some movers if you choose to leave. I said, no, baby, I'll fight. She said, that's all I needed to know. She got busy. She sure and did. She got busy. <laughs> there was a young man that come to my home on Friday morning at uh, 9.30, between 9.30 and 10. His name was Eric Campbell. He sat there patiently and listened to my story. And he said, Mrs. Garrett, I'm going to see what I can do. Hmm. By 2 or 3 that afternoon, Michelle started calling me and telling me the connections that this young man had made and given her. He worked across the street from the realtor company that had been calling us. And he promised us that he'd see what he could do. By 9 o'clock that night, he had given her so much information, and my matador, which is my daughter, <laughs> started working. She started working, and she said, Mama, these people I'm dealing with, they're no joke. Now, are you willing to fight? I said, well, baby, I'm willing to fight. I'm going all the way. All right. Yeah. All right. Said, okay, that's all I need to know. They'll be out there Sunday afternoon. I said, okay. And Sunday afternoon. They were here in Grove. They, <laughs> they sat here and talked to us, and they encouraged us to fight. Don't leave your home. Stay. Then Reverend Williams stood up, and he said, Mrs. Garrett, don't leave your home. See, sometimes when a man of God stand forth and inspire you with something, it's a fire. I said, Michelle, I like his presentation. I like the presence. But I had come to tell you that God had told me one day, love has no stipulations. Right, right. Love has no price. Yes. Love has no face. Yes, yes. And when I looked around in my family room, that particular night and saw love uh -huh. from people that I had never met, it gave me the zeal, the will to fight. Yes. All right, all right. And when I walked up, people were all around. And my daughter said, Mama, are you going downtown? When she called me and she said, I'll be there by 7.30. I said, I'm ready. She got here, we went downtown. I was called while she was in the courthouse and said that the dumpster was here along with the police department. I wanted to get scared and worried, but the person that called me had a calmness and said, we're going to take care of it. When they yeah. called back, the dumpster was not here, the police was gone, and God did open heart surgery Amen. for me. Amen. 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 He did an open heart surgery for me.
because so much was going on in my life at, at that particular time. So much that no one knew that was being done to my heart. I had told a minister friend of mine, I said, the hounds of hell was after me. But God has done an open heart surgery on my heart. Yes. My heart wasn't hurting. My mind wasn't worried. I had peace in that voice that told wow. me that we took care of that dumpster yes. and yes. the police yes. department. Yes. 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 When I got back to you, everyone, was, my husband said, baby, I felt good because they were constantly coming in checking on me. Mm -hmm. And then my neighbors poured out their love and affection. And, and it, it just did something with me. And I said, I'm going to keep on fighting. Yes. Down at Bank and Mellon Trust, they were very <laughs> rude. rude. <laughs> rude. <laughs> but I was determined again. I sat there and I was willing to lay there right across that door there you go. <laughs> all night long. All right. took. If I couldn't get in, they wouldn't be able to get out. All right, yeah. All right, yeah. Pastor and Attorney Ball, they kept me up off the floor <laughs> and we went downstairs and outside. And that was a beautiful rally there. I saw so many people and so many faces. And I just thank God. Thank for you, each Jesus. one that was there, from the UAW, from uh, Moratorium, and Occupy from Detroit. Occupy Detroit. Mill out Detroit uh, job Bell, each everybody. one, they were just walking around. And I'm not, I don't like to be on camera. I don't like for people to take my pictures. Amen. No. But that day, I didn't care. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't care how I looked. And I didn't care too much what I say. <laughs> because it came from my heart that I was determined to stay in my home. Amen. And Amen. I thank each one that came forth. This morning I woke up, all around I saw people. And I, and, and I understood what God meant when he said, love has no stipulation. Love has no price. Love has no face but color. Because when I look around, I can truly say I love each one of you because you have blessed me. Right. You have shown your love toward me and my family. Love you, you came in and talked to my husband when the doctor had said, don't leave him alone. I was worried when I went downtown because I left my grandson and my baby girl here to take care of him. But they took care of him. And y'all came in there each. They said, my baby, they were coming back and forth. Mr. Garrett, are you okay? How do you feel? But his promise to me was that I would stay strong yeah. as long as you were fighting for me. All right. So God gave me the strength. All right. And I thank Amen. you. Amen. Amen. I thank right. you. Yeah. I thank you. But most of all, I give God the praise. Amen. And I thank God because he truly, truly answered my prayer. Amen. And for any of you that are having a problem, you bend on your knees and cry out to him, and you have faith, because deep-rooted faith works the miracles. You have to have that faith that no matter what, the, what, what, you, what you see, you may see facts, you may hear reality, but the fact is, He's God a miracle is. worker. Amen. And the people said? Amen. And the people said? Amen. And the people said? Amen.